the look is a very proper uh, twisted um, student. We call it proper décalé. Now it's a very proper makeup, you know, with a very light foundation. I'm using this new foundation called Invisible. It, it doesn't feel like a foundation, it just even the skin. All those girls are very young, they have gorgeous skin, they don't need that thick layer of foundation. So it's a um, crystal pink lipstick. And on the cheeks, it's a very pastel-y, rosy, beige blush, very low on the cheek. If you put it there, it's very girly. If you put it there, it's more of a grown-up young woman. I want the skin to look fresh and not made up. The look is kind of 60s inspired, so we have this bouffant so hair in the back the that then gets pinned at the nape of the neck. Sometimes we leave it hanging in the back and sometimes we tuck it under. To get the look, we first uh, blow dry the hair with the Fito Volume Mousse and the T3 Long Lasting Evolution Blow Dryer. Then we spray the Fito Workable Finishing Spray all over the hair. Then we wave it a little bit with the T3 Whirl. It's this great little wand that doesn't have that clamp part to it, so it's very easy to use at home. And then we tease it at the, at the root to get that boofy looking style in the back. And then we start fixing the front with a side, deep side part. Adore Derek, what a beautiful collection for him. And leather, leather, leather. We saw the idea of leather emerging as a major trend a year ago, and it just continues. He loved a great leather pant, another must-have item in a woman's wardrobe. Everyone is doing their version of a leather pant. And I loved it, Derek, where he actually printed the leathers with a little sweet clover that you would find out in the summer grasses. I'm um, very, very adorable. So this whole idea of printing leather looks really good. I thought it was a great show. You know, it's early in the week to talk about trends, but there seems to be a very strong woman emerging for fall in contrast with the spring, which was so pretty and feminine and delicate. You know, spring is always a lighter season, but there seems to be a real strength and confidence to some of the shows that I've seen this week and just military coats or structured clothes, a little bit less decorative than in recent memory, and I, th I just thought his his whole show was very polished. What I love about Derek is he, he throws out pieces that you kind of want to own immediately, and I mean, I thought his show did that. I love the kind of floral embroidery prints on the kind of patent leather, and I thought those textures were amazing, and I love that kind of wide cropped pants, and I thought it was um, a really strong show. all of his sweatshirts, you know, all of this very sporty motif, kind of borrowing from a boys' locker room, a little bit of gymnasium sensibility, it was all over on the runways for the spring season, and it's interesting to see how that's morphing and moving forward onto the fall runways, and I love how Derek took the idea of just a men's gray sweatshirt, but gave it some locks with leather collars and cuffs and played it back to very dressed up ideas. kind of cool, sexy librarian look, you know, a little bit of that kind of 50s vibe, but also very modern and, and really interesting fabrics. I like Derek. I thought Derek was very uh, chic, very elegant. I think it's a very sophisticated customer. I thought that it had a very uptown, feel about it, but still very young and vibrant, but mature, uh, but in a very fashionable way. I have these really cool pants that they kind of like, they have this volume on top of the knee. So if you look at the profile, it's like a really cool, like a masculine look with like a cool jacket. I mean, when I put it on, like they were like, oh, I see you wearing this. So it's really me, yeah, yeah. 
show today, I have two looks, and the first one is, um, I'm not sure if I'm describing this correctly, but I would call it a calico print. It's just like really delicate little flowers that you can't tell are flowers until you get really close. It's, um, it's really pretty. The second look is a white dress. I love wearing white, so I'm, I'm very happy with my looks. It's just a simple silk shift dress. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, I got my high-waisted flares on by Derek. <laughs> so I like 70s sort of vintage looking stuff. Um, but I think he's just really classy and nice. It had a little bit more of a theme than I feel like sometimes, you, like in the past I sort of feel like it's been like the great clothes and the great pieces, and this felt a little bit, a little bit more thematic. But I, I felt like it was a really strong show. Beautiful collection, for some of my favorites. Those great cable sweaters at the end of the show with those chiffon ball gowns. I love the idea of something rustic like a cable knit sweater worn back to something really refined as the ball gown. Really beautiful collection for him.